For the past couple of years, netbooks have been coming onto the gadget scene. They're faster, they're slimmer, and they're much more fashionable. But what exactly are netbooks compared to notebooks? And once you have one, what can they do? And how can you make the most out of them? Now, I know a lot of you out there may find this information obvious, but I wanted to put together something for people who are just getting into these things. Don't forget, not everyone is a geek. Simply put, netbooks are used for surfing the web while you're on the go. They use smaller applications and don't have as much processing power as their larger counterparts, but that's why they're so convenient. Usually between three and five hundred dollars, they're light and compact because of smaller chips and components, most notably and recently, the Intel Atom processor. So you get one of these little netbooks, and then what? Well, here are some tips. First of all, make the font sizes larger or smaller. You go to Menu, Control Panel, and then once you're there, Appearance and Themes, and then you go to Display, Appearance, and then you can go down to Font Size, Normal, Large, Extra Large, and then just hit Apply. Use a USB flash drive to transfer data and information from your main computer to your netbook or vice versa. Here are some cute ones I think you'd like. I'd suggest purchasing the Ewok. Downgrade the OS. If it's running Vista, get XP. It doesn't take as much computing power as the newest version and should work great for what your needs are. That being said, you can still use it for games. And I've rounded up a list of some fun ones that will work well and not crash the whole thing. To get the best experience, make sure you work in the cloud, as I hate to say, but it's so true. Google has lots of great applications such as email, text editors, and instant messaging. Skype is also another example that works great. Barry! Hey, Barry, what's up? All right, I'll see you later. Along with everything else, it's also a portable media player. For music, you can't go wrong with iTunes or just use the installed Windows Media Player. For videos, K-Lite Codec Pack with Windows Media Player Classic is a reliable and free application that doesn't hog your system. Of course, you can always stream any videos or music if an internet connection is available. If you don't want to lug around an external keyboard, you can always use a pen that will recognize handwriting, like Pen Reader, to make entering data that much easier. So those are the main things that you can do with a netbook, and customizing the little machines makes them that much better. I hope you enjoy yours just as much as I do mine.